The Inverloch Kongwaks traveled to Bunyip and play the worst team in the comp, and after last week's fuck up against the goon, the boys were keen to make amends. With Zack Coy on a paint sniffing bender and Jabo having a severe case of the sniffles. It was an all O'Flynn and Scott forward line, and the boys did not disappoint. After Cal was spraying them more than a Janice Griffith scene, Cambo finally steadied the ship with one through the big sticks. In emotional scenes, it was enough to bring a tear to my Jap's eye. Corey Casey did his best to fuck up the momentum with a series of fuck-ups. Maybe that solarium tan is cooking his brain. As the missed goals and mistakes mounted, it was up to Tyler to show us how it's done. Not hard to see why his family abandoned him, and he lives in his uncle and auntie's shed. Luckily, we were playing the worst team in country Victoria, and they, too, joined the party of fuck-ups. Jimmy Scott tried to get some momentum flowing, but it went down as well as an STD at an orgy. Another turnover from Tyler meant we needed someone to step up. And that someone came by the name of T-Mill. After trying to claim a mark that was resting on the ground for about 10 seconds, he said, Boys, get on my fucking shoulders and carried us through a difficult passage of play with hard balls and bone-crunching shepherds. Then in a play harder than Johnny Sin's nine-incher, he got the kick away before being buried into the ground. The second quarter was when the boys really started to get on top. The O'Flynn and Scott show up forward was in full swing, and Emmett was slamming it down throats harder than Tony Profane in the center ball-ups. At halftime, the boys were up by eight goals, but still looking as patchy as a blanket knitted by my nan. The second half got underway. With Klautu starting to do 2017 Klautu things, the boys were starting to get their act together. Pie Eater Spider was starting to hit them as well as a Gabby Carter three wood. The boys were really starting to get on top of the worst team in the state. Even Santo was getting in on the action and we had the yips on the ropes. The back line occasionally came under pressure and with tickets last seen napping at Nar Nargoon, we needed someone else to step up. Jordy Teekle wasn't helping with his marking ability. Luckily, we had Stricker still looking like an Auschwitz escapee. He was taking grabs and getting us out of trouble. The good croissant was getting looser than a Riley Reed pizza delivery, and things were starting to look nice. Up by 95 at three-quarter time, the game was basically done. Cooper's brother got an early birthday gift to start the last quarter, and it was all smooth sailing from then on. Spider had made a friend to talk about pastry snacks with. And Cooper's brother was trying to make up his own rules at half forward. After Jimmy Scott booted a ball into the Bunyip River out the back, forcing Plugger to get his feet wet, it was best that the siren went, and we all moved on. Yeah, man, we're play this whole Final score. Inverloch Kong walks 167, the worst team in the Southern Hemisphere, zero. Now on to a tougher one against Turadin next week.